they just brought out carts and she just put this on the shelf. <gasps> this leads me to believe somebody's cowboy collection is on the shelves today. Okay, that's gotta be one of the creepiest things I think I've ever seen. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Cookware, cookware, oh. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, I have decided I am going to see what is still on the shelves for $1 on the $1 color day here at our Goodwills. I generally don't come to these shopping days because there's a lot of people shopping, but you know, I thought it would be a neat experiment. So we're gonna go in and look and see what we can still find for $1, but we're also gonna look for some really good stuff that we would buy no matter what the discount of the day was. All right, let's get inside. Let's get shop done. All right, first thing we gotta do Let's go find our lucky cart. You can generally tell how busy the store has been by the disarray of the carts and how many carts are available. So it doesn't look like it's been too bad today. We're looking for orange. Oh my goodness, look at all of the little Joseph originals. Now these are the ones with the brown eyes, not as desirable as the ones with the black eyes. They have them red tagged at, looks like $13 each. Let's go down here. Let's see if they did anything with the pricing. No, oh yeah, eight, eight for the little ones. Let's see, still eight. So eight for the little ones, 13 for the big ones. All right, this looks very 60s. It is very 60s. The little singing angels. It's a little chippy. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Let's see, the music box part is. Oh, it's a little. It's a little overwhelmed. It still wants to play, but I can tell it's. It's really, really tight. Yeah, and it's Christmas, so I think we're gonna leave that. See, we could get a little soccer ball toothbrush holder for one dollar. Ooh. It's kind of pretty. Italy. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. I do love the painting, but it is really chipped and cracked. That's too bad. I probably would have picked this up. Even at ten dollars, this would have been a this would have been a nice piece, but not with all that damage, so that's sad. Oh, it's cracked right here too. Oh, that's so sad. Oh look, there's more wine glass art saw that in my last video looking at like some wedding decor ideas because I'm gonna be helping Jordan thrift all of her wedding items I think that's gonna be super fun that's coming up soon so make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification just in case you haven't already there we go one dollar one dollar for the potpourri from home goods was $9.99 on clearance at Home Goods. Here we have second Avon anniversary. Aw, door knocker plate. These sadly are just not worth a whole bunch of money, but definitely brings back some memories for me. Let's see what this ceramic angel is. She's a candle holder. Super heavy. Super duper heavy. Oh, we got like a 60s funky chicken here. It looks like he might have held salt and pepper shakers. Ooh, I kind of like him. How much are you? $3.99. See, he was a hobbyist piece, but he's a 1960s hobbyist piece. Now, you wouldn't have to put salt and peppers there. What else would you put there? Give me some ideas. I am going to pick him up. Sweet little rose thing. Ooh, lots of, lots of red tagging. 
don't like when there's lots of red tagging. That's a pretty little trinket dish. Not, you know, it's like 12 to 15, but not, not really what I'm looking to pick up today. So I'm going to leave that. More of the Joseph Originals. Oh, look at little number one. Yeah, if these were the black eyed ones, I'd be really excited, but not the brown eyed ones. I do like the Majolica Elephant Planter. $5.99. I don't know why, but that one just doesn't really excite me today. That's a candle. Ooh, look at the little vintage horsey plate, probably made in Japan. No, made in Korea. He's beautiful, but at six dollars, not a not, not a lot of meat on the bone. That saying refers to profit margin because resellers have to have a margin in which to make money. Sometimes these can do okay. These little lacquered books, really, really big in the 70s. This one is a grandparents one. We are, will not be taking that today. I do kind of like this uh, Native American bear sculpture though. He is metal welded, but he is $25. He will not be coming with us today. All right, let's see. Oh, that has a little insert. That's interesting, but that's not even glass. I thought it was glass, it's not glass. There is a guy who has uh, apparently gotten a blister on his toe that he is trying to remedy. That's just not attractive in my eyes, but what do I know? See, we got some wise guys. Just two wise guys, though. They are missing the third wise guy. I always like, which one of these is frankincense or myrrh? Was it, what is it? Frankincense, myrrh, and gold? Is that what, what the three gifts were? But which guy is carrying which? That's what I always wanted to know. I do see the cute little French bulldog bank. $5. He's probably a $12 to $15 piece. I am not going to pick him up today, but he's super cute. I'm not even going to pick up the turtle bank either. He's not old. He's missing a stopper. I'm going to be good. Um, I just, I still, I, I don't know how this was ever a thing. I, I can't. Little porcelain angel. Not too exciting. <gasps> Ooh, those are kind of cool. I wonder who makes these. These are a, a heavy glass. I like them. But I think I'm going to leave them. But him on the other hand. He is made from horseshoes and I know these can do really, really well. He is $7.99, but he's fantastic. We're grabbing him. This leads me to believe somebody's cowboy collection is on the shelves today. All right, they have an entire row still dedicated to Christmas. So we will take a peek, see if there is anything exciting here or anything that's not Christmas that kind of got glommed over here because that happens a lot. I find things in the Christmas that are not Christmas. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, this little rustic wooden candles. $5.99. Where did that come from? It says made in China, so it's not handmade. I really kind of like that. I'd have to replace. This is like just that cheap cheesy kind of greenery but i love i love the candles but mm, if if you know if it was before christmas i'd probably get this but i have already put away all of my christmas and i'm not really selling things like this right now so we're gonna leave this one i'm gonna look at these though look at these little glass stirs royal hawaiian perfumes why were these from royal hawaiian perfumes they're cocktail stirs that's interesting. They were $10.99 at Borders Books. Now they're $4.99 at Goodwill. All right, these are easy to store. Can list them now. Somebody still might want them now. Anybody who collects like Christmas, these are a cute little accent thing. I am going to grab these. Little Christmas villages. I do like the tower clock though. Oh, it's broken. Well, that's a bummer. That was a 
different piece than I normally find. Got a bucket of ribbons. What are these little glass? Oh, with a little glass nativity. But it's all little individual pieces, not bagged up or anything. So I think Indiana Glass might be the maker of this. You know who I'm looking for? Yes, yes I am. I'm looking for Jesus. All right, so we've got Jesus. We've got a wise guy. We've got another wise guy. We've got Mary. And we've got, are you holding something so you're a wise guy? So, oh, wait, this might be Joseph. This might be Joseph. There we go. Oh, no, that's a wise guy. So one of those other wise guys is Joseph. So you got the Holy Family and three wise guys. It's kind of a nice little set, but my fear is they're going to price that all separately. I shouldn't say fear. It's not really a fear. It's a, it's just a validation for me not to mess with it. Oh, look. Are these? Okay, no, these are the ornaments. The light covers that I got the other day are actually worth picking up and selling, but you can see all the beads coming off of this. Uh, no, we can't deal with those. It's a pretty little Christmas tree. I mean, it's just, it's resin, I think. Or is it wood? Is it? it might be painted wood. It's got a really nice look. $8.99. No, I think I'm going to leave it. Those are some of the sisal animals that they were selling themselves. Looks like they're making their way onto the shelves now. Those are cute. Cute little, what are you? Are you a garland? That's a little wool ball garlandy thing. That's kind of fun. Mm, I don't need it though. You don't need it, Danny, leave it. Sometimes they put the prettiest little bunches of flowers into like a vase that you really don't want but I kind of I kind of like want the pink but I'm gonna leave it again I'm just not in the mood to mess with it today this is an interesting piece it's got the little candle snuffer hooked to the side I'm not sure I have ever seen such a thing it's not old I can tell it's not old had that been like uh, vintage or antique, I'd have been all over it. Okay, let's see what we can find over here in the vases. Like this one is drawing my attention a bit. It does look vintage. It has an uh, um, embossed name there on the bottom, but I cannot see what that says. It's very 70s looking. You know what? For $3.99, I think we're going to pick that up. Nice little wood piece. No, I think nothing else on this shelf. Nice little succulent. What? I, what's the word I'm looking for? Succulent grouping? Array? I don't know. What word would you use to describe that? Cluster? I don't know. I don't know what the proper word is. I like the colors on this, but it's nothing, nothing very exciting. This does not feel like depression glass, even though it's got the look. So I'm leaning towards this being reproduction depression glass because it's got a real heavy thick coarse feel to it that it's not normally what you feel in uh, true depression glass. Oh, this has a crack. This is another nice piece of pottery, but not with a crack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at him. It's a little dog topiary thing. All right, we're gonna leave him. They just brought out carts and she just put this on the shelf. <gasps> gasping, gasping. Yes, can't get this in the cart fast enough. Okay, that's gotta be one of the creepiest things I think I've ever seen. All right, let's see. We didn't quite finish this. Look at that little name on there, 1996 Hager. It's pretty plain, you know, not like a super exciting piece. 
I don't know what that schmush is on there. I think it would come off. I think $5.99 is a great price for a piece of Hager though. Is that supposed to be like mistletoe? I think, look, even just a little slab, it gets cracked in our dry Nevada weather. Is this another piece of Hager? Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Let's look at the bottom of this one. Okay, there's nothing on the bottom. It says as, oh, it's really, really cracked. That is a cool 90s piece of pottery. And if it was not cracked, I'd be picking that up. All right, one last little look through this stuff. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, $7.99 though. I don't like that. I do, I do like that succulent though. Okay, this is a cool little piece. Piece. Where did I get piece? Anyway, what would you put in here? Like what? What fits in these little thing? Place and time, spring garden, indoor garden. Oh, is it for like little plants? Like, like little starter things? I bet Jordan would know. If you're new to my channel, Jordan is my adult daughter she is the one i refer to who is getting married this year and we're going to be thrifting a lot of her wedding stuff and then noah whose little comments show up on the screen throughout the video is my teenage son and then rachel who never shows up on the videos but i refer to her often is my little artist teenage daughter i kind of like this guy for 2.99 that is a fun little fish. Absolutely love this quote. All right, let's see. What else is on these shelves? There's some nice rustic looking little signs. Oh, what is, what are you? A little garden solar thing that may or may not work. I'm leaning toward may not because it just looks like it has been uh, well used and loved. Tactic. What is tactic? <gasps> Molki, the great outdoor game from Finland. Hmm. I'll, I'll stick to my cornhole. Oh my, we have a large chess set. Oh, this is one of those. Um, oh, somebody's got something very loud going on the shelf. Uh, backgammon, chess, cribbage, dominoes, checkers, poker, dice. That's cool. Not exactly what I thought it was, though. Oh, there's a nice little nativity creche. Oh, it's broken. I do tend to pick these up because I collect nativities, and often I just get the pieces and I don't have the stable or the creche to go with them. But that one, very broken. I love fall. I tell you, what I would love much better than fall right now would be a little spring. I'm ready for spring. If you are ready for spring, let me know if you agree with me down in the uh, comments. <laughs> I'm a little over being cold and I bet if I'm a little over being cold, I have a lot of friends who are over being cold as well. This is a horse thing. What are you? Oh, I think you were a mailbox, but you're missing your top. I'm not seeing a whole lot of orange tags either, and that's what we're kind of looking to see what's still here, orange tag one dollar wise. That's got a broken little handle on it, otherwise that'd be really cute. Look at there's a yellow one. Oh, maybe it's not broken. Yeah, that looks, looks pretty broken. Oh my. Got some... What are you? Chains, a uh, candle holder. I don't know. Just some old hangery kind of stuff. I think these had one of these. I think that's what's missing. Yes. All right, let's see if we see anything else exciting. Made in China. Not that old. 
All right, we are now in the metals. Let's see if there's any excitement here. This under here is a Wilton Armitel, red tagged at $14.99. That's a decent brand, but only if you can pick it up at the right price. We have a duck decoy, a flambeau, a flambeau duck decoy. All right, nothing too exciting on the metal shelves today. It's kind of a nice, oh, it's got like no weight to it. I thought that would have some weight to it. Hmm. Yeah, no, not so exciting today. I mean, we're not done yet. And that's the cool thing is you just never know right around the corner can be like the most exciting find but i feel like finding a piece of fenton that that's probably going to be my highlight that's probably going to be the one all right let's go through the plastics see if we've got anything exciting i'm thinking not not today Okay, we are over in the dishes. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Unfortunately, not only is it broken on top here, but it's $29.99. So, definitely leaving that. Okay, well, let's see. I had somebody ask in a comment recently, why does Goodwill put so much broken stuff out on the shelves? You know, because some people will buy that, they'll repair it. There's crafters that shop here. Um, there's all kinds of people that shop at Goodwill. So if it's something that, that's got some value, I mean, it's not just resellers who are shopping and buying here. So, I mean, I, I'm okay with them giving it a chance as long as they don't hide it as long as they don't put you know tape or a sticker or something over damage i'm perfectly good because it is buyer beware and it'll end up somewhere i really like these little place markers or photo holders or whatever you want to call them i'm not getting them i just really really like them all right we are in the muggage it's a fun mug. Cricket. It's a cricket mug. I don't know. That might have some value. But it's not the kind of mug that I look for. I'm looking for vintage or I'm looking for like Disney or I'm looking for some really nice art pottery. Something with some resale value. That's what we're looking for. And same thing in the glassware. I'm looking for vintage, mainly like mid-century. Mid-century glassware sells really well. So always on the hunt for that. Or things that are like really high-end, unusual. These are kind of cool, but there's something about the colors don't, they look painted and not like fused glass. I don't tend to pick up like clear stemware anymore. I used to, I used to sell a lot of it. And I will occasionally pick up something if it's a very high quality or antique piece, but nothing here today except, you know, some corn. I think somebody used the corn markers with the fall flower markers. They look like they would have gone together. Oh, that's a cute little canister set, but it would be uh, eight, six, five, four. So that's what five and four is nine, 15, $23, $23 for the whole set. For resale, that just doesn't work. Let's see, these look like older prints. Look at the backing on that. Oh, yeah, Jim Daly, Jim Daly. Those are fun, fun little old like Huckleberry Finn type prints. I actually really like those, but we're gonna leave them. Right next to them is this old cast iron. Oh, it's broken. It takes a lot to break cast iron. Holy smokers. And we can't tell who makes it. it just says five quart 
Dutch oven, but it's made in Korea. So we're gonna have to leave that one. more of that uh, depression glass. I do really feel like this is, uh, well, look at that. Okay, I, I eat my words here. So Federal Glass, Sharon Pink by Federal Glass Company. It's got an original sticker on it, but they're saucers, you know, for $6 for two and then 15 and then 13. Yeah, it's just, doesn't have that kind of resale value for us to pick it up. I love, love, love when stuff has its original tags on it though. That solves all the mystery and store that in your memory banks because now it's been verified. There's no doubt about it. What do we have here? That's different. What does that say? Oh goodness. Oh wait, I'm reading it upside down. Stand by. Okay, I'm still really not. Restoration. Oh, something restoration, but it is really, really cracked. So that's unfortunate because it has a really nice look to it. This is a really interesting looking piece. I don't know what its purpose would be because obviously it doesn't hold anything. So. There must have been like maybe a liner that went in this. It's not marked. Well, I guess there is a little mark on the bottom there, but you'd have to know who that mark belonged to. I think we're gonna leave this because it's really, really heavy, but it's, it's interesting. Oh, are you Italian? Oh, very, very damaged. Oh no. Now this is interesting. I don't think this is Mexican Talavera. I do believe this is maybe uh, from Spain. I've seen it before. Hmm. It has a big, heavy piece with a handle and some chips. So those things are kind of leaning me towards no, but it's a really cool piece. Oh, here is another turkey that matches the chicken kind of that I got earlier. Not quite the same, but for $2.99. Oh, he's got his little spoonie in there too. I think I'm gonna pick him up, he's cool. Little teacup and saucer made in Japan. Look how sloppy that is made. Oh goodness, definitely not for the high-end market. All right, I think that is all we're gonna find on this aisle. Love, oh, broken. That's too bad. And we always look through these small kitchen appliances just in case there's something super special tucked in here, but not today. Got some cookware. What are these? Ooh, I like new with tags. S'more gas board. S'more serving tray from Dendaco. The more the merrier. Well, those are interesting. Looks like something that would have originally been at like Kohl's. $7.99. I'm not sure that's a great price. They're cool. But I'm going to leave them. Cookware, cookware. Oh, that's cool. With a little duck on it. Oh, who makes you? You are heavy. Let's see. Martha Stewart collection. Well, darn. Oh, it's also $15. Ah, this would look like somebody just came over here and looked stuff up and then just decided to dump their stuff over here. Don't, don't be this person. All right, we are in the crafty section. Let's see if there's anything fun in here. What are magnetic? Oh, I said, thought it said magnetic cups. It said magnetic clips. I'm thinking magnetic cups. What's a magnetic cup? All right, let's see. We've got some loud music playing overhead. Look at these little shells on a stick. Shell skewers. Hmm. Hmm. No, don't need them. It's a bag of floof. 
pet supplies. Don't see anything too exciting there. And we got kind of household gobbledygook. Yes, that is a technical term. Oh wow, this is in really, really bad condition, but sometimes these uh, model kits can do quite well if that's your niche. It's not mine though. Ah, oh, it made its way onto the shelf. All right, let's see what we've got in the art today. Oh, it's Batman. Don't see anything exciting. Sometimes these prints can be good. Oh, that's a, uh, that's kind of an odd one there. Like a DJ kind of, I don't know. That's uh, unique. See what else? That's kind of fun, that one right there. And no, nothing. Nothing really grabbing me in the art today. Oh, Rachel is going to be so excited that I just found this. So I am getting her this. I do need to go on a bowling ball buying trip soon because. I am going to be building Priscilla, my baby tortoise, a new pen habitat. And I was told that if I use bowling balls as the perimeter, she can't climb on them and knock herself over. So I will be picking up bowling balls, but not today. Oh, how much is that aquarium? Ooh, set up for a reptile. 50 bucks, not a bad price though. All right, the small artwork has definitely been ruffled through quite a bit today, it looks like. Happiness is your toes in the water and your bum in the sand. I don't, I don't disagree with that as long as it's warm, wherever that is happening. Hmm. I tend to like just look at the type of frame to see if anything vintage. I'm not really having anything calling to me. So, I think we'll keep moving on. Let's see what we've got in the lamps. Mm, nothing really too enticing. Some 90s kind of clay looking guys. Mm, nope. Sometimes they get some pretty interesting pieces of furniture. Look at how ornately carved this is. It's got like an Asian motif. It would need new handles. Oh, look at that. Look how that opens up inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a bar. Oh, it's a bar. Oh wow, it definitely needs a bunch of restoration, but kind of a interesting piece if you are good at putting stuff back together. Looking through the miscellaneous fabrics over here. This is where I did pick up a very nice designer scarf one time. I'm just not seeing too much today. No, not today. Okay, if this wasn't faded, I would be in love with it. That is so cool. All right, let's give the pillows a once over. See what we can see. What are these little guys? Little vintage rust colored pillows. They're cute. Five bucks each, not a lot of value. Oh look, there are, see there's some pillows you can get for a dollar. Mm, I don't know if you'd want that for a dollar. There's still, yeah, there's quite a few orange tag pillows here. All right, we're in the purses. I see lots of red tags in the purses. Probably lots of things that don't deserve a red tag. That's a dollar. Who are you? That's uh, Anne Klein, isn't it? What's wrong with that purse? It looks pretty good for a dollar. Hmm, I haven't done a purse sale in a very long time and I'm not really sure. I want to, and it's got a little wear to it. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be tempted. I'm gonna leave that one. Okay, it's time to head over to the jewelry. 
And I think that's going to be our last stop. Make sure you stick around though because we will do a recap of everything. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. Well, just lots of beaded stuff. I don't even see any orange tags left. Hmm. No, I am not even seeing anything I want to pull out and take a closer look at this time. All right, we are headed to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. super selective but boy oh boy I found a Fenton swung vase I guess I don't know if swung it's a swung vase I mean let's face it it's a swung vase uh, I cannot believe that how lucky like that wouldn't have been on the shelf very long so it felt really good to spot that right when she was putting it on the shelf and be able to snag it yay uh, fun trip now I'm gonna go home I'm gonna process this stuff in and uh, I will see you on the next one. You go be profitable and make it fun.